All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for My, My Hero, Hero Academia, Academia. Season, season three, three, episode 20. 20. But it's not. Right. It's a special kind of filler mm -hmm. uh, production Thing. break break episode, yeah. essentially, because uh, uh, there's some stuff going on where a lot of anime in the current season are taking a week uh, break. And instead of getting basically like uh, an OVA or something like that, My Hero Academia is doing a little thing to help promote the uh, movie that's coming right. out. Uh, My Hero Academia Two Heroes, I believe mm -hmm. is what it's called. Yeah, it sounds about right. I think that's, that's what it is. Yeah, so it could be cool because mm -hmm. uh, essentially it, the plot can be anything. Right. But also it's going to be probably All Might and Deku focused. So sure, it's going to be a little bit good. simpler of mm -hmm. a story and kind of keep things a little bit more uh, compact. Yeah. But yeah, guys, sounds like fun. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so there's not going to be much to discuss yeah. about this one. But, but you know what? That was really funny. That, it, was, yeah. it was really like, fourth wall breaking. It was really fun to kind of have the two of them basically be announcing to us. Yeah, Hands we're down, promoting that was the something. best part of the episode. Like, yeah, because, yeah. because, because the episode itself is nothing really to write yeah, about. Like, like, no. Yeah, like, it's fine. You know, it's it's serviceable and all that An stuff. An email is here. Yeah. Like, that, yeah. that was probably right. the funniest. But, but it's the, the very fact that basically they took something that is a negative, right? That we don't get the next episode of the Canon My Hero Academia story mm -hmm. this week. Right. We and they basically week. and they basically acknowledged that and they kind of yeah. said, Yeah, we know that kind of sucks, but we're gonna try and make the most of it and they did it in a fun way so right. that it's like you they're not trying to avoid the issue, you know. So so it kind of breaks that breaks that little bias wall of being right. like, All right. Okay, yeah, let's watch this. And yeah, see what they, they're gonna do <laughs> the 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 aspect of having it focus on Deku and All Might, just mm -hmm. kind of in their their little moments and stuff. I thought was really fun. Yes, I, I liked uh, the over dramatic aspect of each character's kind of presentation. You could mm -hmm. tell that the way it was written was kind of just like, hey, like this is just a a thing. All of a sudden, like each mm -hmm. character was basically just their their shtick. Right. Um, it was uh, kind of fun to see some quirk usage of how Uraraka can be used to be a spy to yep. go up and mm -hmm. float up with something that was cool. But um, primarily just a, a fun way to see All Might and Deku talking directly to the audience. Right. Like, yeah. I would love to see oh, yeah. just more ridiculousness and, on that regard. And, and but like bloopers, you know, oh, yeah. something like, like that. That would be so cause, fun. Because with, okay, now this is just me probably, but... With filler, since it's something where it doesn't have, like, real plot Im implications, weight. weight, and all that stuff, right? Because it's it's a filler episode. I mean, the movie is canon, so anything correlating right. to that that's is true. as well. So this is probably canon, yeah. too, yeah, that's good. That, yeah, that's a good point. Um, but uh, when I think of, like, one of the best things that they could do with filler mm -hmm. is not try and tell an individual story of, like, a lesson that a character learns and stuff like that, right. because we know it's not really going to be ever mentioned later. Right. But instead, just say, all right, for this episode, we're going to do comedy. Yep. Like, like have yep. it be a dedicated comedy episode. Because who like, cares about plot? Yeah, and because who cares that? about plot then, yeah, right? Yeah. You can do whatever you want. Um, and that way, it's still one of those things where it's super enjoyable to watch, because it's a ton of fun, even right. if you know... Okay, yeah, this isn't this isn't true. My Hero Academia or whatever, um, but but what we got, I liked. But the the All Might and Deku stuff was hands down, yeah, the, the funniest, best part. The like, bits. even at the end, like them coming back and being like, so next week it is going to be back, you know, blah 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 blah. But if you want to find out what happens next to this whole thing, then watch the movie. It's in theaters, so get those tickets right now, right? I I don't think it's in theaters anytime soon. No. Oh. This is just an advertisement for it. I think the movie's in theaters like in exactly like a month from now. Oh, okay. So, but, but yeah. you know, but still, just the idea of it and them we saying like, "Thank it. you for your support," you know, and all that stuff. Yes, like, please continue like, to support my hero academia. It's like, yeah, like, yes, like, we totally like will. what a way, what a way to just. I know it's not like necessarily super creative, but no. still, just as far as a way to basically like. Just say, hey, come on, help us out. We're, we are a TV show, so right, you know, right, absolutely. I, I love, I love it. I, I love My Hero Academia's kind of uh, over the top nature when it comes to its bravado and positivity and passion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and each character that kind of exemplifies that, like All Might, yeah, uh, and so and you know a lot of the others, even even like present Mike and stuff, oh, just yeah. kind of going uh -huh. over the top in very specific ways. Yep, uh, yep. It makes the whole thing at least you know. 
a cheesy kind of enjoyable. So right, exactly. we end up yeah. getting a lot more out of it than mm. if it was just a, a serious yeah. filler arc that we really want to take this uh-huh. story like right, because very it's like, seriously. It's like, no, no, come on, come on, you know, lighten up a little bit. Yeah, um, and they did that. They did that. They did, they did that. that a little mm-hmm. bit. I would have yep. wished there was more comedy focus of the whole thing. Like, I really right. don't care about the whole like mystery thing uh-huh. in the grand the, scheme. The of things, one, but... the one thing that is my takeaway from this, and this was something that ooh bugged me, yeah. because whenever you're dealing with something like this, where it is a simulation, oh, right, 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 there's the certain things that <laughs> are, are sort of like the uh, the uncanny the valley. Yeah. You you brush you brush past and you sort right. of ignore because it's like, yes, these people are still acting it out. We know exactly. All Might isn't actually dead, right? So yeah. the fact that Sue tickled his nose or whatever and he was like, <laughs> you know, that could be considered as, oh, that's a clue for the thing and it's actually plot relevant yeah. or it could be just considered, yeah, All Might's trying his best to play dead, but, you know, they didn't knock him out or anything like that. Um... <laughs> So it's, it's one of those things where I think they could have actually had him be knocked out because uh, they had midnight mm-hmm. on standby. Oh, that's so all true. they really yeah. had to do was put him to sleep with mm-hmm. somnambulist or whatever. Right. And he would have just been like every once yeah. in a while. And it would have been like, <gasps> OK, is the villain asleep? Well, there's blood everywhere. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. The, the fact that he's snoring, we're supposed to just ignore that. You know? Right. 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 Yeah. But. But uh, I, I did think it was kind of in line with the Aizawa. It was a reasonable ruse, you right, know, right? Kind of thing that he's done well, now twice, mm-hmm. and it's like, okay, Aizawa, yeah. Well, and and one good point about that though is that if the person wanted to kill themselves, right, and you have a knife and they're as big as All Might, you don't just stab yourself in the chest. You go for something particularly jugular. Vital. Jugular, you there'll know, be a lot like, more blood too. There, there would be a lot more blood. A lot more. But blood. That would be something where it'd it's be like still leaking yeah, out. Like, because, because also, if you think about it, to get a knife fully into the chest, that takes like force. Yeah. Like that's that's yeah. Um, also, this is a kind of a really dark topic for MHA. To, you know, bring up like suicide in a uh huh episode about like love and um, comedy, kind of over right. the topness. So it's like. Huh. Yeah. 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 I don't I, know. I love the fact though that Midnight was getting so into it as far as the yes. acting goes. All the yes. overdramatic. <laughs> yeah. You know, that was. Yeah. That was, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I like that little bit with Cementos also uh, being a huge M- All My mm-hmm. fanboy. So yeah. He kind of. Which is funny. Blushing. But he's like, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, because it's like, as a kid. Like, it's like. It's like. Wow. How long ago is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, wow. Hiding your age. What are you a maiden? And yeah. it's like. That's a good point. All Might's cleverly avoided the whole topic uh-huh. of his age. Yep, yep. So he could be a lot older than we, could than be. we think. You know? could be. He and could. it was great to see All Might in his hulked out form since that's not really something we yeah. get to see anymore. So, because, you know, you know yeah. season three, episode 11 happened. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, with the movie coming out and stuff, it seems mm-hmm. like it's going to be focused a little bit on... Kind of what a scientist right. with a quirk could mm-hmm. be. This David Shield guy. Yeah, could could do. Like, maybe this is going to be, uh, the movie is going to fill in a little bit of the world building stuff that MHA kind of sorely lacks, I would say. Yeah, they, they so, right, because they focus more on the school, so it's not as much people, like, going around and exploring the world. Right, yeah. so maybe this is a, a way that we can learn some of that. Sure. And then we can end up watching the movie and letting you guys know what we thought about it, give a review or something. My one big request, and I don't think this would end up happening, but this is just one of those things that, you know, anytime there's an additional movie, right, that's telling an additional story onto an already existing story, right, and they say there's going to be a main character that's brought in, it's like, please don't make them just be the The bad guy. You know, it's like, because that's, like... Mm. Yeah, mm. it's very, very typical. Yeah, very um, typical. So not that not that MHA couldn't pull it off, especially if they capitalize on the relationship between All Might and this David Shield guy, and make the audience really feel and yeah. care about this David guy the same way All Might does. Yeah, but that's just one of those things where I would really hope that that's not the case because it's, it's you know painfully it's, cliche yeah. it's it's the it's the default assumption yep. anytime that a movie you know anytime there is a new character in a new movie for a story yeah so 
Oh, specifically, uh, like shown in anime, though. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. Any, it's, yeah. If it's any kind of action-based story, like, like, oh, not there's just a in new anime character that's whatever. been his friend that you so haven't like, seen in forever. Oh, they didn't really? change it all during uh -huh. the time that you haven't seen. Yeah, them. yeah. Uh -huh. They don't have a sympathetic character tied to them to react to their yep. sudden change yeah. in their in their friend's thing. So they go, "How could you? Right. This is there's, so horrible." There's a reason that that exists because the idea idea of betrayal and everything for villains and antagonists yep. is fantastic yeah but if it comes out of the blue if there's no pre-weight behind it right then it's kind of pointless it, it falls flat because yep. there's one of, there's almost nothing worse in a story than putting a bunch of weight onto something and have the audience just not have it care. completely not yeah they don't care yep. right that that's uh, that sucks when that happens yeah um so yeah, yeah, I hope it's not that. I don't think it would be. I do but. think they'll have to have a villain for the movie because this is a battle shonen, so yeah. there's a high likelihood that we're well, right that it will end up going that way. But if they don't do that, then the, the next, next character, uh -huh, uh -huh. the very next character they introduce besides the girl and the shield guy uh -huh. as like Melissa and David, yep. if there's any other character introduced other than them... We know immediately that they're right. uh, the villain. The <laughs> other, the other thing that you can do in in stories like this and stuff is that if that person that's introduced, that's the best bud of you know one of the main characters, is sure. the villain, then they're probably gonna die <laughs> because that's the way to yeah. basically make it so that yeah. the movie has its self-contained story yep. and you don't wor need to worry about having yep. this other character that you need to work this into. This is true. You know, an adapted story moving forward. Yep. Right. Um, so. Yeah. So who but but who knows what's who gonna knows. happen. But yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching mm -hmm. this. Uh listening to the discussion stuff, even though it was a, a yeah. you know, filler episode and stuff. Um but yeah, if you want to get into the discussion of any kind of my hero academia related stuff with us, go check out the link in the description below mm -hmm. for our Patreon. Any kind of support that gives you access to our Discord where you can chat with us about stories, MHA or whatever. There's a bunch of other rewards there if you're interested. And if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.